Dino talks about why he loves using his void setups. We can whack 58s in this gear, I think. Something stupid. Again, I think people really don't understand how much DPS this setup actually is, because it is insane. It's just you need the RNG. Dead, 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 dead. As I was saying, you can just take people out. Like, you don't even need specs. Players chat is doing duo next. As for the loot, they each get a drop. Zerite Van Braces and the Torva Full Helm, netting 346 mil in total. That's epic. Mr. No Sleep is about to go in for the Armadil Godsword spec. Oh my god, oh, I'm so bad. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> Desperate is speedrunning Wave 5 of Barbarian Assault, which is mechanically complicated. He shows off some nice stacking to hit all monsters in front of him with his Crystal Halberd spec. That's so funny. <laughs> nice move. Rice is doing some high intensity pure Britting. Both him and his opponent have opted for the Dragon Dagger special attack. Best for outlasting the other, but not necessarily for KO potential. Oh, that is a nice KO. That is a big spec. Oh, not bad. Not bad for a pure 11 milli. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I'm dead. <sighs> Mother. Mint Mad Cow logs into his pure for a little PK fun. Oh yeah, don't do it. Never mind. Did you see that? This poor gold farmer noob even pulled out the infernal cape with his Armadil Godsword. He knew exactly what he was doing. Fortunately for Mint, he wasn't risking that much. This is Master Clue number 22. <gasps> Suro Burrow recently got his Bofa. Yes! Yes! Now he uses it against his Kalzuck. Yes! Yes! Woo! Let's fucking go! Yes, girls! Ah! On the Iron Man! Woo! -hoo -hoo! And he's achieved his Infernal Cape. Congratulations. Bones is about to get his 150th Cerberus kill to become a verified Cerberus Master on the combat achievements. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Rice sneezes and powers up. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze so bad. Okay, <laughs> <Get> now. <laughs> <laughs> the sneeze helped me out. <laughs> Perky is doing next with a small team. When he gets a drop. Yo, that was way oh, better. Oh, nice. Nice, dude. But not just that. Then, afterwards, he gets another drop. Oh, uh, what the f And another. Oh, what the f And another. Yes, bro, what, what the f yes. Yes. What the f Did you seriously get another? Yeah, and these aren't even bad loots either. In seven next kills, this four-man team just made 1.4 bill. An extremely lucky day on RuneScape today with a 350 mil split for each person. Gotta say, I'm a little jealous. You don't see this often. Dino and his opponent are both using some pretty high-end gear, but Dino decides to use the Dark Bow for his special attack. Dark Bow go, dead. And he gets the kill. As for the loot chest, 107 mil from a Dark Bow PK. Sido has been really lucky recently getting a Dragon Full Helm, Primordial Crystal, and Eternal Crystal in the last video. On top of that, he managed to survive an extremely scary disconnection. Now he's doing some raids when the spooning just won't stop. Please be a dupe. Please be a dupe. I can't, I can't keep getting away with this. No way. Thank you guys for talking about this arcane right now. Yep, he gets another unique on his hardcore Iron Man. Ancestral robe legs. This man can't stop spooning. I can't keep getting away with this. I can't do it. I can't keep getting away with this. I don't know how to do this, you guys. I don't know how to do this. 
I don't, I don't know what the f is wrong with this account. It's all spoons. It's literally all spoons. <laughs> Bellis is one of the best PKers in the game. He makes quick work of most people in the ref caves. Alright, fair enough. The guy got lucky. How about a rematch? Ah! Oh, f off. <laughs> Hamzy IRL speedruns Zuck in record time. This is crazy. What? I couldn't hit there? Oh my god, dude. Ridgewood has been hunting one particular drop from Nex for over 6,600 Nex kill count. Oh my fucking god. No way. And at last, he gets the pet. Congratulations. It's over. Guys, it's over. Mint Mad Cow is back to his rev cave shenanigans. I didn't switch. Oh, Tally. Nope. Hey, there we go. Elder Maul comes in. Sometimes you just, sometimes it don't stop. <gasps> Why? Why? Why, dude? Why is that on the floor? Jagex has its way with skill specs, teasing the poor guy. No! No! Where the f the specs is RNG, bro? A one? Why tease me? I haven't even hit, bro. Oh, just end it. Just fucking end it, bro. Oh my god, I could have killed him if anything, but fucking zeros. Ah! Why tease me, game? What are you doing? F will you play with my emotions? Son of a. Where most would teleport out, our dog risks it. Nah, how much bruise does this kid bring? What? Bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. A calculated risk led to another 93 mil in his pocket. Yes. There's no chance that I get lucky everywhere. I just, I refuse. I thought that was a dagger for a second. Fuck. Okay, well, that's a one in 6k. All right, that's... <sighs> Good luck, man. Yo, it's possible. You can two hit me right now, man. It is possible. He hits more than 120, bro. Imagine. <gasps> Dang, it's wire five! Wire fucking five! Ah, oh, you... I'm keeping on block. I don't I know how, bro. Ah! You see what I mean, bro? What is that dumbass shit? Make homie gets a little shut eye in between vanguards. Nah, 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 Mr. Mammal still doesn't have the weapon seed from Gauntlet. Why is the fourth item in your collection log grayed out like that? <laughs> so goddamn funny. Mint Mad Cow runs into another YouTuber, but doesn't realize it. Oh my lord, that second claw was. Dude, what is that gear? Whoa! Oh! Yo, my bad. During the Jagex PvP roundtable discussion, Aiza gives us information about the Wilderness Boss rework. Wilderness Boss rework is going to be multi by the way, for what it's worth, so just keep that in mind. <gasps> for those that maybe are in the stream not that, aware, no. we have said cool. all, of the, all of the bosses will, will be multi as they are currently. So He also mentioned that they will offer significantly higher GP per hour than they do now, on par with bosses in safe zones. This is good news, as it doesn't make sense for you to be risking your items for a lower return than you could find in safe zones. This is ChemQ signing off, but before I do, please make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. This will really support our goal towards 25,000 subscribers before the end of the month. And that's a wrap for today's RuneScape Chronicles. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.